What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a good one. It's sponsored by Bob Sound. They are your premium audio solutions for BMW and Mini. We're actually going to be installing a speaker upgrade on this 2002 E46 M3. Let's get to today's video. If you guys have been following the channel for a long time, then you'll know that Bob Sound is a sponsor on the channel. So if you're looking to enhance the sound systems in your BMWs, definitely check out Bob Sound and give them a consideration because they are awesome super great customer service great people to work with completely plug and play solution you don't need to swap head units or anything like that it's completely plug and play pretty simple to install and uh, they have a lot of installation videos on their channel as well as mine um, we've done several different bob sound installs on a couple different cars we did an e my e92 m3 um, an e90 335 uh, re most recently you know a, a brand new m8 We've got this here that we're gonna be doing today, and then we've got another um, 328 that we'll be doing in a future video as well. So definitely check out Bob Sound if you're looking to upgrade your sound system from what the current system is. So this car actually is, like I said, 2002 E46 M3, and it does have a Harman Kardon sound system in it currently, but you know this car is 21 years old and it's, it's seen some better days, and so um, that applies to the sound system. So we're gonna be increasing the quality of the sound system, and I'm gonna show you guys how to install everything today. So let's get on to it. Welcome back to the channel, Kevin. Hey there. <laughs> we are installing a Bob Sound Stage 1 speaker upgrade on his 2002 yep. E46 M3. All right, so in the package from Bob Sound, we have several different things here. So this is a 2002 E46 M3 that's equipped with a Harman Kardon sound system. Um, so once again, if you plug in all of your information on Bob Sound's website on what kind of car you have, you can plug in your VIN number or provide them with um, the sound system that you currently have if you happen to know that. They will tell you what, what uh, packages they have that are available for your specific vehicle. So for this one, since this is a Harman Kardon sound system car, they gave us, there should be four, a total of four of these mid-range drivers, as well as this is a pair of mid-range tweeters. And then we also have a mid-range tweeter here. Um, so we'll take a look of, of what all is inside these boxes, and they also give us this little tool kit, which is super helpful to have when you're doing this whole install. So in the packages here, these are going to be the mid-range mid drivers, so this is going to be two for the, I believe, the rear deck speakers here on the back dash. There's two more for the lower door panels right here. There's also a tweeter up on the top on each door panel, which I believe is these little guys here. And then the back seat has, in the door panel right there, one on each side. Those are, I believe, going to be these ones here. So we'll get a better idea once we start taking everything apart, but uh, so it's a total of two, four, six, eight speakers going in the E46. Anything you buy from Bob Sound, I highly recommend getting their installation kit. This is what it all comes with inside of here. So it's got every little tool um, that you would need to do any type of install from Bob Sound. So this is really good for trim tools. They give you a large ratchet, nice little interior trim tool that's made of plastic. You can do a, school, a screwdriver, a couple different size ratchets uh, or wrenches, ratchets. You've got some e-torques. Um, this is by far the most handy. I'll show you this when we get into the car a little bit, but this is a tiny little ratchet that you can use in really small, tight spaces. Super, super nice. Little pick. And obviously little screwdriver extensions um, here and here. So highly re recommend getting this if you're going to buy Boff Sound products. All right, so we're gonna start on the easier things first, which I like to start on the back. So the back dash there, up on the dash, has two speakers. Um, a, little bit, a little bit hard to see through the dirty window and the window tint, but there's a speaker grill here and one on the other side. And so what we're gonna use is this little trim tool here to prop that up and expose the actual speaker itself. All right, so what we're gonna do first, we're gonna use this little plastic trim tool. We're gonna pull up this entire speaker grate. I would just start in one of these corners, just like that, and then use your fingers in combination with the tool to kind of pull up. There's little tabs that go around the entire speaker grate. 
All right, so another thing we need to do is pull this little tab up here. There's a bolt underneath here, so if you use your little trim tool, kind of prop that up. And this is gonna be a 13 millimeter, so we're gonna use the supplied ratchet, 13 mil. Go ahead and unscrew this. A little bit hard to see back here, but. Pull that up, and then we can continue with the speaker and grill. Just keep going all the way around, there's little tabs. whole thing and that gives us access to the mid-range speaker there are three screws holding the mid-range uh, speaker in so we're, we're gonna use this as eight millimeter little attachment and this tiny little wrench or ratchet that I mentioned earlier super super helpful because we are very limited on space I can barely see what I'm doing here but the good thing is we can use this to unscrew this. I can even use my fingers to unscrew the top. Just like so. So super helpful to have this little ratchet. So go ahead and remove all three of these. One, two, and three. So eight mil on all of this. Okay, now the speaker should just be sitting in here at this point. Um, and it should be just plugged in one little plug. Use your little trim tool, you can help kind of prop this up a little bit. Very difficult to see. Okay, there. So now we got the speaker up, and all you need to do is squeeze it right here in these little tabs and pull the plug out. And the entire speaker comes right out. So there's where it connects, and the three screws we removed, and back here is our wire. All right, so this is a comparison, the old Harman Kardon versus the new Bob Sound. So same exact size, only this is way heftier, looks way nicer as well, versus the old Harman Kardon, which has seen better days. All right, so new speaker from Bob Sound only goes in one direction. You'll see that there's the same three screws. It's oriented one direction, so you cannot you know, can't screw it up, it only goes in one way. And then the connections here, you'll see there are just two little plugs here. One that is red and one that's black and red. And so these will plug right into the factory harness here that we just unplugged. So there's a blue and uh, brown. Once you've got your wires plugged in here, just tuck them all back in, down in here. Should be plenty of room for it. And then make sure your speaker is sitting completely flat. like so and then we're going to take our our gasket from before that we removed and we're going to put that back right on top so this is going to be anti-vibration for the speaker grate the grill so it'll sit just like that so we're going to go ahead and screw this in first and put that little gasket back on so take your little eight millimeter screws I don't tighten all the way down, I just put it in 
finger tight and then move on to the other side. And then we can tighten it all down simultaneously. So they don't have to be super tight. Okay. And then now we can take our gasket, put it right back on top. Take our speaker grill. And reinstall. You'll see all the little tabs that go all the way around. Just line it all up. And then go around and back into place and then take this little washer pop it in take our 13 mil screw that back in this is for the child seats little harness like that put the little cap back on and we're good to go so just want to note here on the other side the wiring from the factory harness here is actually um, brown and yellow and so the way this is connected it's gonna be um, your yellow is going to match with the Bob sound red so yellow and red and brown and black okay moving on to the next set of speakers which are gonna be here in the back so there's one on that panel there and one on the opposing panel right here. So in order to get these door panels off, um, you can see they're kind of intertwined behind the rear seat. So we're actually going to be removing the lower portion of the seat, um, just a couple little metal tabs that are underneath here that we just need to pull up on in order to get the seat bottom out. And then there's one screw underneath this door handle that we need to remove and then there's a bunch of tabs around the top and down the side. In order to get the this side out we need to remove the little um, door trim pieces here that go all the way across. So I'll show you, show you guys how to do that. All right, so we started on the passenger side, did that off camera, just to make sure everything was smooth sailing. Um, we're gonna start here by removing this little trim piece here. So if you grab one corner of it, just get it started. Pull up on it and just kind of go down the line here. It'll eventually come out. So there's a bunch of these tabs that go down the center of this trim. And there's a bunch of these white clips right here that tend to get stuck in the car like that. So you can use your little trim tool here, prop them out, go all the way down the line. So what we're gonna do now is pull up the bottom of this seat. And the way to, to do that, just pull up on it. So you just pull up on it hard, just like that. Next up, so we're gonna be removing this panel here. Um, it's kind of wedged behind this and kind of the back seat there, as well as the lower seat bottom. So that's why we pulled that out. This side we're not gonna actually have to remove, but we are gonna loosen some things up here in order to kind of wedge this out. But to start, we're gonna use a T20. There are two screws, one right here and one back here. So go ahead and unscrew those. Once you remove those two screws, there's several little white clips that go up this way, as well as the front up here or the top section. So what I like to do is I like to grab it down here from the bottom and kind of give it a yank, just like that, and go up and over. 
and then you can move the seatbelt out of the way, give yourself some room. So the speaker is right here, but <clears throat> you could, if you wanted to, you could just work on it right here, just pull it back like this, but um, it's a little bit easier if you just pull a whole entire panel out. And uh, for filming purposes, it's easier for me to show you guys what to do when you pull up the whole panel. So <clears throat> that's what we're gonna do. But on the top here, there's a little clip right here, if you can see that. I'll show you that when I get it out, but take a little screwdriver, push this little pin in, and it'll release this whole piece, and this little clip comes out. So that's what it looks like. So there's a little pin there, as you can see. So I'm just taking this, pushing it in, and it releases the clip. And so when you go to reinstall this, what you do is push this back through, take the pin out, put, put this back in, put the pin in, push down, and it spreads the clip, and that's how it stays in place. So we'll be doing that later, but we're, what we're gonna do is actually, um, <clears throat> we're gonna loosen this piece here, so there's a little clip here that we need to kinda get out. There's a little piece here that kind of holds the uh, window mechanism in place. And so if you loosen that, this whole piece will actually come up and out. Loosen your seat. So that, that's how you get that piece out. Put that aside. And so now we have the ability to kind of move the seat down and also kind of move this out of the way. So this is held in right here. Give it a little yank, it'll kind of free it up. And that gives you some space here to kind of maneuver it a little bit in order to pull the actual panel out. So, <clears throat> we've got pretty much all loosened up. There we go. Pull it out just like that. So it is still connected by the wire. Um, just go ahead and unplug it. And then the whole panel comes out. All right, so the speaker here is plugged in. Um, here's the wire here, so you just need to grab the wire, unplug it, and then the whole uh, panel will come out and we can go ahead and remove the speaker. I'll show you how to do that. Next up, we need to remove the factory speaker here. So what I'm gonna do is take my little pick tool and you'll see there are these little slots here. I'm just going to kind of prop it in here slowly. We're basically gonna pop it out of these little, little sections. So there's these little plastic tabs that are holding it into place. So if you just prop it up, it'll come right out. So you'll see one, two, three, four. Those are all stuck in here into the plastic. So we're not using this anymore and we're going to replace it with the new speaker. All right, so this is the new Bob Sound speaker. So it's the same exact size as the old one. As you guys can see, it's a little bit lighter actually um, so the differences here, uh, they don't have these little tabs that go around the side. So what we're actually going to do is use some of the glue that they provide. So we need to use the glue and this little wiring adapter. So we're going to plug this in right here. It only goes in one direction. Match up the square and the square and the circle and the circle. Clicks into place. This will plug back into the factory harness that's in the car. And so for this, what we're going to do is we're going to put it on just like so. Actually, we're going to glue around the edge and then we're going to put it on where it needs to go. And I'm going to do a little dab of glue, maybe on a couple of these little sections just to make sure it stays in place. And then we're going to let it dry. Okay, so just going to put a little bit of glue. Kind of all the way around the edge here. Not on the speaker dome itself, but just like that, and then we're gonna put it on just like so. And then what I like to do is put a little bit of extra glue kind of maybe on this little tab here just to hold it into place. You can do it in a couple if you want. Just 
just like that and then we'll let it dry and we can uh, start putting it back in the car after it dries. So while that door panel in the back is drying, we're gonna move on to the front. Um, pretty simple to remove this. There are five uh, torque screws. So there's one right here behind this little, little cover here. So if you pull this back and remove that cover, there is a screw back here. Same thing back here with this airbag, little symbol. If you pull this little tab off, there's a screw there. Uh, there's a screw here, uh, right here, and right here. So once you remove all five of those, all you need to do is grab one corner down here. I like you to use a trim tool, put it up here in the corner and kind of break one of these little uh, clips free and then just go around the entire perimeter and pull the door panel off. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. Just got to be careful on this to not screw up the leather. So that's what it looks like for a little clips you gotta fight with. And then put that around the side here. I take this little pick tool and start over here. There's this little, little door here that kind of hides the screw. There we go. So there's a torque screw back there. And again, this is gonna be a T20. Take this, unscrew. And so one thing I do wanna note, since there are five screws, two of these on the top, this one and the airbag screw are the smaller of the five. And then there's three longer ones. So this is again, once, once you've got the kit, from Bob Sound, all of this comes in handy because you've got all the tools that you need. And then three more down here. These are a little deeper. Kind of got to see what you're doing. They do tend to get stuck in there. So it's a longer screw. Once you've got those five out, again, take your little trim tool piece down here and kind of start in the corner and prop it just so it pops one of the clips and then I use my fingers typically around the entire door panel. So you'll see, you just gotta manhandle it a little bit sometimes. So there's these metal clips up on the top and then the bottom has all of the little plastic light clips. So what we're gonna do now is unplug everything. So I'm gonna start here actually. If you grab the locking mechanism, this will come off. Free up some space here and then here you can just unplug. And then down here, squeeze and unplug. And right here, this is for your window controls. Just unplug that one. Your, uh, yeah, your mirror controls, rather. Okay. It's unplugged. Just not come out. There we go. All right, so now everything is unplugged. We can take this to the table and swap speakers. Also just FYI, when you are pulling off these door panels, even the back ones, if you happen to break any of these little clips, you know, they're super brittle plastic, so you're likely to break them. Um, I would suggest buying, pre-buying some of these. You know, on eBay, you can get a whole 50 pack for a couple bucks. So they'll just slide right back into place. Like so, like this one's okay. Just double check all your clips. You probably have at least one or two broken ones. This one's got a broken fin. It's 
still usable, but I've got a whole bunch of them, so might as well use them. Let's see here. This one's okay. This one's totally mangled. If they pop out. Let me slide back in. Next, what we're going to do is I'm going to pull this little foam gasket off. We're not using that. It doesn't fit the new one. Um, this is going to be a Phillips head screw. So take all three of these off and then the whole speaker comes out. So this is going to be your big mid-range. And then of course we've got our new one right here next to it. So that's going to come out and then over here we're going to reuse the same three screws. Then up here we've got three Torx T20s as well. So go ahead and take those out. Okay, we're using all the hardware. So this is the old one, you can see how it's the cones falling apart. All the foam is all already disintegrating. I mean, the car is 20, 21, 21 years old. Here. Yeah, so I mean, it's done its job, but compare between the new one here from Bob Sound. Much cleaner, much newer looking. And you can compare the back sides here as well. So, complete swap over. So we're just gonna take this, drop it back into place, line up your holes, and then go ahead and screw in your T20s. Same as the other, other, uh, other ones we've shown you, just kind of go to back and forth. And these don't have to be super tight because you're screwing plastic into plastic, so. Okay, so that one's good to go. This will plug back in the factory harness. This one, pair of the two here. Not quite as discolored as the rear deck speaker. I'm, I'm assuming the, the rear has probably gotten more sunlight, exposed to more sunlight, so these don't look quite as bad. But the new ones from Bob Sound look way better, obviously. Put that one aside. Same thing, this only goes on one way here, so make sure it's oriented correctly, your holes are all aligned. <clears throat> and once again, this is a Phillips. And since the, uh, the magnet in the back is actually a little bit bigger than the old one, we're not gonna be using that foam piece. like that. Now we can bring this back to the car and reinstall. Okay, we're ready to put the door panel back on, so let me explain the wiring on this one. So you'll see the Bob Sound has a one black and red and one red. The factory has a blue and white and a blue and brown. So we compared with the old speaker and the way this is going to be wired up is the red from the Bob Sound gets plugged into the blue and white side. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Just plug it right in just like so. And then we'll take the black and red Bob sound and plug that into the other, which is uh, blue and brown. Just like so. And now that's good to go. And so now we can start plugging this all back in. This one up here is gonna be plugged into 
this one here. So plugs right in, only goes in one direction. And then this will get plugged back into our uh, window controls. So spring this over as close as we can. So we're gonna have limited space here. So I'm gonna start with this one. This is gonna be the hardest one probably. These, this plug only goes in one direction as well. Alternatively, you could remove the little control panel from the door panel itself, uh, but I'm gonna try to struggle it this way. All right, so once you get that one in, this one's plugged in, kind of brought your wires. Um, this vapor barrier we're gonna have to replace at some point, but it's holding for the most part. Uh, don't forget to plug this one in up top, so this one just plugs right in one direction. Let's see here. Only goes in the one way. And then what I like to do, let's to plug this one back in too. This will just clip right in, slides in just like that. Clips into place. And what I like to do is kind of start at the top. You wanna make sure that this, your locking pin goes through the top, and lines up. like so okay Oop. and then I like to try to line up these top ones first and once you kind of get it into place you can kind of give it a bang so the top ones are in um, and then I kind of go around the perimeter and make sure all my clips are lined up and then hammer it into place pretty much all right once you got all of your clips in all the way around take your two tiny screws one goes up here make sure you don't drop it into the door card otherwise you're gonna have to take it back off so screw that one in again these are the short ones and then this one up here behind the handle. And you can put your little clips back on there. Let's see here. Airbag one. Clips into place. This little plastic one up here and then your three uh, t20s so we're finally ready to reinstall the rear panel the front door is finally all buttoned up back together so just want to double check make sure your speaker is nice and secure after that glue dries and we should be good to go okay we are ready to reinstall this one back here so try to slide it back up in this corner kind of get it into some sort of position and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this connection here from the Bob sound plug it into the factory harness it only goes in one way until it clips in, that's good to go. And what you need to do is just kind of tuck it underneath this weather stripping back here. We can fluff it later, but get it close to where you need it to be and uh, start lining some things up. And so you'll probably have to get into the car as well as, uh, you know, finagle the seat up and down a little bit. As well as the bolster here. So I'm kind of like putting my head 
back through here to kind of make sure that my little plastic clips are lining up with the holes all the way down. So once you kind of get it there, you should be able to get it in place, and then we can come back with a trim tool and well, untuck that. Go down the side here too. So there's a couple clips here, so just make sure that these are lining up. Your, pull your little trim out over the leather. Okay, and then you kind of take your trim tool, go all the way down. And then finally, we can put these two screws back in here, but first what I'm gonna do is pull this back down, make sure that this is set in place here, and then what we're gonna do is put this piece back on. So this is gonna sit right here. Just like so. And then I showed you guys this screw earlier. So pull the pin out first and then kind of squeeze this as you are putting it back in. Just like that, and this holds it down into place. And then you can realign this little piece and it just clips right back in. Just like so. You can uh, put that seat back. This is back into place. And then we can reinstall the T20s, two of these. One there, one there. All right, last piece of the puzzles here are the rear seat bottom and the little door trim piece, the door sill. This is just gonna go right back into place. So we'll just finagle it back in, push it down, and that will be back into place. Rear seat is back in. And then I just go ahead and reinstall this piece and we're good to go. All right, finally, finally done. Just gotta clean up the mess, but everything is all back into place. And uh, now's a good time to do a test on it. Um, otherwise, not a terrible install, just a little bit time consuming, but conceptually very, very easy to do. All right guys, that just about wraps up today's install video. Again, 2002 E46 M3. So if you guys are looking for a speaker upgrade for your E46, definitely consider Bob Sound. Great people to work with. Really, really simple, easy plug and play solution. And um, you know, it's good to go. And we just took a, a drive in the car, dro you know, drove around the block and the system sounds incredible. It's so crisp and clean and uh, it's only gonna get better as time goes on because once these speakers break in, it sounds phenomenal. And it's true, these speakers tend to break in after some time. I had that same experience with my E92 M3. Um, the M8 that I recently did, the owner of that car has also stated that after you know some time in the car, several weeks, you know, a month has gone by almost, and he said even then, the sound system has improved since then. He also has a ballot Bob sound system in his um, his BMW X3 and same experience there. So these tend to get better as time goes on and right off the bat, this thing sounds way better, way cleaner, way crisper. Your lows are a lot lower and more bassy sounding and the highs and mid ranges are just phenomenal. So highly recommend it. I have nothing but great things to say about Bob Sound. So if you guys have comments, questions, or concerns about the install, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, stay tuned because we've got more Bob Sound products coming for a future car. We've got an E9328 that we're going to be working on as well. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.